So you make it back to your apartment. What did you do? Showered, got out of those clothes and bathed, drained the water and bathed again. And then I slept, I was exhausted. You wake up later that day. Thinking I gotta, I've gotta do damage control. I gotta get my river ruined clothes off the bathroom floor. And I've gotta put on long sleeve shirts and I've gotta cover my bruises because I don't want anybody to know that this has happened. Tell me, what's your 21 year old mind telling you that you have to hide this? I'm feeling shamed. I'm embarrassed. I feel stupid for having even gotten myself into such a dangerous situation. I should have known better. I thought that if my mother found out, she'd make me drop out of school and go home. I imagine people pointing at me and saying, that's that girl that was raped. How did this sit with you across time living with us alone? I, I hadn't dealt with my own, my own emotional pain. And then the news was reporting that other people were missing it. They were finding bodies at the canyon. And every time that happened, I was feeling guilt about all those other women, that if I had come forward, Maybe he would have been captured. I had all this nervous energy right after that. I was total insomniac, so I would put on my clothes and go running in the middle of the night. Do you know why you did that? I think I was trying to run away from myself and try to run away from remembering. It's just a, a way of coping. As people value their lives less, we tend to see them engage in high-risk behaviors more. Yes. It's like. Yeah, I guess I could get killed, but... What could they do to me that hasn't already been done?